guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Madison, and I run this channel. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm like extremely shaky, so I don't really know how. Cause I don't know where my stand is, so I'm holding the phone. You can see that. I'm gonna try to do it like this. So, yeah. I'm gonna just video myself like this. Sorry. But yeah. So. Oh my god. What's on my nose? Something else on my nose. Anyways. Uh, one sec. I'm still trying to figure out how to. Okay, there we go. Um. Basically, I have a riding lesson today. Um, so, basically, I'm vlogging, hopefully, the barn today. We'll see. It's gonna be kind of hard. If not, ignore the teddy bear. Um, but, I'll do, like, I'll try to get some footage of me at the barn and, like, going there and like me riding so yeah but for now my riding was at three it's like 12 so i got a little bit of time i'm gonna play maybe two video games not two of them but like two games of in one video game either call of duty or something else because they don't last that long the version i want to play and then I'll be back and we'll get ready together. So yeah, and then we'll be off to the barn. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back. My charger fell again. So this is what I'm gonna wear. Riding, jeans, blue shirt, sports bra, whatever, nobody cares. And then underwear is down there. So yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and show you. Oh, I threw my charger in the phone. <laughs> whatever, okay. Yeah. So, I'm mostly dressed, but I did my makeup. I can't do eyebrows, so I'm sorry about that. If it bothers any of you, I'm sorry. But it's just really hot in my house right now, so I'm not putting my normal top on. So I'm just going to put something that kind of goes over. I'm wearing a sports bra, so that's okay. But, like, you don't see anything. So, yeah. Um, but I've just been making a TikTok and doing whatever. And then we have to leave soon. I need to figure out what trauma and what pair of boots I'm wearing. But we're going to wear my new ones, break them in better. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the truck. I still have to do my hair, so I'll come back for that, but peace. You didn't need to see that, but basically I'm back from the barn. I think my dad has a couple of videos, but they're probably not good, so I'll add them. But I'm here to kind of talk until he gets back. Um, I had not good, really good ride. Uh, she just did not want to go. And then, like, we get her going, and I was having a good time when, in the beginning, and then I was just getting frustrated as hell with her. And I wasn't on, like, the regular horse, like, I normally ride, like, Bonnie or Miata, and Miata's a light gray, and then Bonnie's, like, this black horse. It's not, like, a horse, I think she's, like, really small, but she's really chubby. So, I was on, um, I was on Blackie. And she was like, 
She's kind of chubby. But she's tiny. So the saddle I ride her in. I'm sorry. I have like a sore throat and everything. And I can't breathe. But like this saddle. Every time I kept trying to get on. Would like slip. So I had to like keep trying to like tighten it. So I tightened it so tight. That normally if I put this on a regular horse that I normally ride. They couldn't breathe. Well, this thing was, like, so tight. Like, it was, like, the two bars of, like, the cinch and, like, the thing where, like, the latigo goes were touching. That's how small she is. And it just bothered me. And finally, I just, like, I could ride her. And then we get going. She's walking. <clears throat> Mind you, she's going great. I walk her a couple laps. Then I try to trot her and post with her. Well, she stops seven times in my lesson to go to the bathroom. And she kept stopping at the main door to get into the arena because her, like, best friend was in the other side. And I kept having to kick her, and it would, like, take her, like, two minutes to move. And it just bothered me. And for all of you non-equestrians on my channel, you can kick a horse. It won't hurt them. You can kick them pretty hard. <laughs> and I was kicking her pretty hard and she would not move. It got to the point my trainer had to pull out the um the whip. She wouldn't like I mean non a question people, she wouldn't whip the horse, she'd whip the ground to get her to go. And I had to like push her butt and stuff, like hit her butt and stuff and like now this hurts the horse, just saying. But like but this is what I kept having to do. And it was over and over and over. And then she started stopping at the big door. Like, the big, like, back outside door for, like, the tractors and stuff to, like, grade the arena. And I was just, like, I was getting so fed up. So fed up with her. But, yeah. That's how my lesson went, pretty much. And then we tried to lope her, so it goes walk. Like a basic trot where you can sit it or like a jog and there's trotting where you like post it i can post and trot like sit trot some sit like trots <coughs> oh no hers is bouncy it's just bouncy bouncy um and then basically we we're loping and i just could not get the lope i kept balancing on her reins which is not a good thing. And I just couldn't sit. I almost came out of the saddle a couple times. And by like the time that I finally got her to lope three circles. I was having an asthma attack. Like I could not breathe. And then like the whole rest of my lesson. I was trying to get my breathing back to normal. And I couldn't. So my throat extremely hurts right now. I'm still coughing from it. And so we stopped in Okotoks in Alberta, which is, like, where I live is in Alberta, because I live, like, 45 minutes from, like, where we're at right now. And we're at Sobeys, because my dad's getting water and hauls. But the funny thing is, because I'm coughing, and I have, like, all this problem going on, my dad is now coughing. And I'm like... I'm not sick. But, like... This should not be happening whatever it's really dirty um but i think until i grow into my new boots i'm gonna be riding back in my Eric's and not my justin's because i couldn't feel her when i kicked as i think the problem was mostly but we don't really know because like so these are like my boots they're really dirty i finally broke them in and got them completely dirty I love it though because that's a sign of good boots. This is like where your heel like should be. My heel comes to like here and slides all the way up here. So yeah, and these are a size 10, mind you. My other ones are like an eight and a half. And so like I wear like a nine and a half and I didn't know that. So these are like really big on my feet and I have like really skinny feet. And a lot of people think my feet are a lot smaller, and I thought my feet were big, but I guess not. But... 
Yeah, I'll insert what I have. It's not gonna be that good. Don't judge me. You guys got a bit of a barn video. I'll still try to get a better one next time. But that's basically how my lesson went. Um, my trainer did a uh, coach. I don't like calling her trainer right now because like that means like horse trainer. She's a coach, so she coaches me how to ride the horse. Um, but she said like anytime I feel like I don't want to ride, I can come and groom horses and like bathe them if it's warm enough. And honestly, that just makes me feel so much better because like. Currently, we're still trying to figure out, like, all my anxiety problems and, like, why my anxiety is at its peak right now, where it's, like, there are days I cannot function with it, and I've never had that happen. Like, it's so bad, I can, like, not properly function. Like, I zone out. Um, I lay in places and just zone out or I sit somewhere the tv can be on I can be staring straight into the tv and just not even being paid attention but like it's like really bad and like this makes me feel better because I really love being around horses and I just think being with horses when it's bad might help and we can get this under control because meds did never work. Well, it did, but I turned into a complete robot. Like, people came up to me and they're like, are you even human? So, like, this is, like, a great thing because, like, I need this. So, yeah. I'm just so happy I've got this opportunity to come out and groom horses, get to know them better. Because <sighs> I started riding there in January. After I went to Montana. And then I rode for like a couple months. And then COVID hit my town real bad. And then I had to stop. And then I came back for like a bit of the summer. After I went to BC. You guys saw that vlog. Ish. Um, and then I had to stop because I ended up in the I got like really sick. We didn't know what was going on. And I ended up in like urgent care. And then. The emergency room in like a week apart <clears throat> or two weeks or something like that and then i'm back now so yeah i'm talking a lot and i'm still like i'm sorry i'm talking and looking out for my dad because we're at sobeys but yeah so this is that way i don't know why i keep looking at it's because i'm probably hungry but We'll see. So expect more bar bar vlogs hopefully soon. I'm hoping to get my equine reproduction video soon. I think I'm gonna do a record it soon. But yeah. Anyways, that's basically all I'm talking about because my dad's on his way and I will catch up with you guys at home. I'll insert all those stuff, but like yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I just talked for nine minutes, but whatever. Hi guys, so I'm at home. It's like 15 minutes from midnight. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and do my PR. So I'm just gonna close off this video. Um, Thank you for all the comments, give me some classes. I'm so happy we're getting so many. But anyways, we're getting there. And our goal is 30. So share my videos to your friends, your family. Of course, give us some comments in the comment section. I'm gonna check those soon.